As you move through your interior inspection, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to things like penetrations. Obviously, this is a very large window and has a high potential for moisture intrusion problems. So from the exterior, you'll, you'll pay attention to things like that, uh, your sealants, your flashings, make sure that you have, look for vulnerabilities. And when you come back inside, you wanna pay attention to those same things. And in this particular case, we have a perfect scenario to show you. Um, one of the a cheap tool you can buy is a pair of needle nose pliers. With those pliers, you'll grab the edge of the carpet and non-destructively peel it back. And in this case, you'll see that we have obvious signs of lots of moisture intrusion. We've got a lot of fungal growth, a lot of moisture damage to the tack strip. And if you even go as far as to pull in the carpet padding back, you can see how it's affected the subflooring. Now, we don't know what kind of condition it's like under the subflooring. Has it affected the framing? Has it affected anything down below? Since we're on a second floor, you'd be able to identify that by going downstairs and paying attention to the ceilings around the exterior wall. Also, another thing you can do is, cheap tool you can buy at most tool stores is a panel puller for car doors. If you can find any gapped areas on your baseboard or even use a, a, a box cutter razor blade to just gently cut any caulking, you can get behind here and pry back your baseboard. In some cases, houses that have been renovated, carpet and padding and tack strips have been replaced, so that evidence may be gone, but a lot of places they miss it is behind your baseboard. So gently peel back, use your flashlight, take a look for any fungal growth, any moisture damage, or anything like that. A couple of things we're gonna talk about here is, first off, our window, and then we're gonna follow it with the roof. As you go through the rest of this house, you may notice that all these windows open up and down. They do make sideways sliding windows, but in this particular case, it appears that they've taken this window and turned it sideways to install it. You can verify that later from the exterior or any other fastening methods. Um, a quick portion of the roof that we can address from here is we have an access to the roof with some kind of little decking installed. Now, generally, you don't have ferns growing off of your roof unless you have a moisture problem. We have a composite deck here that's been secured. Obviously we can peel it up because it's no longer functioning, but as I reach out here, you've got rotted decking that's saturated. This is clearly not pressure treated. Now that's going to continue to rot and I'm sure most of these panels will easily pop up, but the other one I think the other thing you want to mention is how did they secure this to the roof? Did they just drill this right through the deck of the, of the roof? Did they penetrate the roof? Did, now, now do you have the potential for leaks? That's something you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to. 